Hey everybody, welcome to Fairy Hugs video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this little fairy sitting in a tree. So let's go ahead and begin. I'm starting out um, using my Simon Hurley re-inkers. So I've got them all labeled here. I made a little bit of a mess of it, but this is just one of those alcohol ink containers and I just put a couple of drops of each color in and then you're going to need some water and watercolor paper and I like to wet the back side of my paper first which is the bumpy side and then wet the front side and this is a very wet project so um, just be aware and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start going in with some color and I'm going in right now with over the moon and I'm gonna just start creating color and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of traffic cone and I'm just kind of randomly painting around, not any really rhyme or reason other than thinking about, you know, where things are gonna go in my picture. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Prom Queen and swirl that around up around the top. And then I'm gonna go in with some Game Over. And Triple Berry, just kind of mix them up and swirl those around. And you can just move paint out of the way if it starts slipping into the area you didn't want it. And then finally I'll go up here at the top and I'll do some crown me. Cause I, you know, wanna keep this kind of dark, but not too dark. And then what I do is I take my heat tool and I just move that paint around um, until I get it fairly dry and then I'll add more paint in as needed. This is clear skies that I'm putting in. And if you don't like the way something looks, you can add some water. I'm just throwing in a little bit more crown me because it's just gotten a little bit too light for my taste. And a little bit more game over. And just kind of move the color around. This is just abstract watercolor. There's not any real design to it other than it's it's my sky. I'm just going to move that paint around. I'm going to let some drip off. Kind of wipe up the water, lay it back down. And where I lost color, I'll add more. You have to be careful sometimes because you can end up making mud. So I started with Crown Me and then I went back in with Triple Berry because it blended better with the orange. And just a little bit darker around the edge there. Um, I'm almost happy with this, almost. Going here with some, looks like Breakup Blue. Mm, no, it's Remember Me. Okay. Now I've got the top the way I want it. Now I'm going to go in, in the bottom, and I'm starting out with the color Psych. And I'm bringing it up and bringing some of that yellow, that over the moon, down. But I want to bring up the color. And then I'm going to go in with some Overzealous. And just make some streaks. Just kind of want it to sort of resemble maybe foliage of some sort. Just pull the streaks up and down, but it is a straight up and down stroke. And then I'm going in with Fake Plant, the darkest one. So that, that brings it closer, you know, the darker is the closer the foliage. Just get those streaks going. I'm done with my paint, now I'm gonna dry it. And I'm gonna dry it 100% because I'm pretty much done. Any place you're not happy with the color, throw a little water in. You know, if it starts to pull up or something like that, you can just move that around. So what I'm doing now is I am running this, uh, after it's been dried, I'm running it through my mink um, you can run it through a laminator, you can iron it, or you can just let it be. But I like to get it as flat as I possibly can. And um, those are watercolors, so they dry fairly fast. But I do run it through twice. 
just to make sure that it's nice and flat and nice and dry for my next step because my next step I'm going to be stamping. There we go. Let's get that mink out of the way. And there I've got my sky and my earth and I'm going to pull out my stamping platform and I'm going to be stamping with Fairy Hug Stamps Moon Tree first. And I'm going to be stamping that with the um, pine cone, or maybe it's acorn, Versafine Claire. So what I do is I like to take the acetate and kind of place my tree. And I'm not worried about the side over there because, um, you know, I will be trimming this off. So I'll lay down my acetate and then I'll lay my stamp right on top of it. And then I'll close my door to my stamping platform and pull off the acetate and yeah I'm gonna go in with the Versafine Claire and Acorn and I'm doing the tree in brown because I want to do my fairy in black and I want I don't want them to accidentally melt together so to speak and this is a mixed media card so you'll see lots of different things being used to complete it and I am using my glider, glider tool to get that nice and dark on there and I'm going to wipe my stamp off here. Pull it out. Kind of sort of put it away. I don't really put anything away until I'm completely done. I'm going to pull that out of my stamping platform because now I want to do some things to the tree. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and just paint in with some water to kind of lift the color in that so that I can have it the color that I want it to be. It doesn't, I don't want to, I don't need to lift it all. I just need to lighten it some. So you just get it wet and then dab it with a paper towel until you've got the color lifted. And it's okay down there by the green because it looks natural, kind of. I'm just going to go and pull some more color out, especially those dark colors. And I'm happy with that. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking my Caran d'Ache um, Neocolor 2 watercolor crayons and I am going to color my tree. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to get some color down because this is a water reactive crayon. And um, once you put water on it, you can move it around. And I don't, and it's not important to get all of it because I will be adding some foliage at the top. So I go in with the umber and then I go in with the brown and just put dark spots where I think there should be dark spots and leave spots light. So nothing perfect. So then I'm going to go in with my water and I'm going to start blending those colors together. I love these crayons. They're kind of an investment, but Honestly, I just think they're great. Um, you can do as heavy or as light as you want. If you're going to do it on plain paper as a serious piece of art, though, you're going to want to gesso the paper first. Otherwise, it just won't spread as well. But since this is such a small piece, it doesn't matter, even if it does leave a dark line. Just mainly just wanting to get my tree color looking natural and just keep putting a little bit more water on and move those colors around. Trying to be careful not to get outside the lines, but if I do, I do. It's a handmade piece of work, so it's not always 100% perfect. Okay, happy with that. Put away my crayons. And I do want to give that a dry because I'm going to be stamping again on it and I want to make sure that it's completely dry so that my, um, so that my ink doesn't um, bleed into the paper. I'm going to put the tree back into my stamping platform. And yes, I do use tape um, a lot to uh, hold down my paper because I'm really bad with double stamping. I don't know how it happens. I don't notice my paper moves. But um, I'm going to go in now with Tara. She's uh, Fairy Hug Stamps 187. And I'm going to use that acetate again to place her sitting in the tree. And then once I've got her where I like her, 
I'm gonna go ahead and lay the stamp down on top of the acetate, lift my cover, pull off the acetate, and I will be stamping her in the Versifying Claire in Nocturne. And I wanna make sure I get her nice and dark. <laughs> So I just place it down and then use my glider tool, check it, almost there. I think we're gonna need one or two more layers of black ink because I want it to be extremely black. Mm, yeah, just a little bit left there on the leg that I want a little bit darker. There we go. I'll take that out of my stamping platform and I'll be done with my stamping platform now. Anything else I do, I believe I do by hand. And get her cleaned off and put away, sort of, ish. <laughs> and there we go. Now we can start adding all of the foliage and, and uh, landscape. And so uh, what I made there is I made a mask out of just some it's not even acetate, it's laminating folders, laminated together, and then I just kind of cut that out. And I'm gonna go in here with the um, Versifying Claire and Verdant and start making a little bit of landscape back behind her. And then I'm gonna go in with the Golden Meadow, is that what it is? So, yeah, Golden Meadow and just create a little bit more landscape. And all I'm doing is just laying down that acetate and then I'm coloring in with my little finger blending brushes. And now I'm gonna go in with this uh, Summertime, love this color, and kind of create some mountains back behind her. And you'll get some interesting colors when you blend these um see how it kind of went brown in that one spot and i'm okay with that i'm good with that i like it so now i'm going to start in with the uh, with the foliage and i'm going to start with this new one from fairy hug stamp called meadow grass it's number 220 and decide on my placement and yeah i'm not going to use the whole piece because i don't want to cover my fairy up at all but I'm going to find a stamping platform and I'm going to lay that on there. And I don't need that piece there. I am going to go ahead and use this First Fine Clarence Summertime again. And I don't need to ink the whole thing because I'm only doing a part of it. Sorry, my head gets in the way there a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that down. Just kind of hold it so the ink soaks in. There we go. Just a very... Very light application. I'm going to get my little bit flatter stamping um, acrylic. Uh, that's a Wendy Vicky, and I'm going to be using these hanging vines, uh, Fairy Hug 088. And I'm going to go in with the Glamorous, Bruce Fine Claire and Glamorous, and start just creating some hanging foliage and I'm not I'm not one to do second generation stamps to me I don't they never work out right it must be me I don't know but I'm gonna just hit both sides there with that color and then kind of get some down in the middle ish so that I've got a nice even coverage with that particular type of foliage Okay, and then I'm going to go in with some Twilight, or nope, Warm Breeze. And get over here where I had that kind of blue color. So I'm trying to kind of get the colors, mm, not really matching, but coordinating so that it looks good. <laughs> I guess that's the best way to put it. See, the darker foliage is the stuff that's closer. Okay, and then a little bit more right there. There we go, that fills it in a bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off my mess there a little bit. And 
What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get out my, um, my jelly roll pens and I have these glitter pens uh, they're made by Kaiser craft and I have this gold one and I'm just gonna go around her in gold and again my gray hair is gonna get in the way it's the only way I can see because <laughs> I have to the way my camera is situated I have to kind of be I don't know in front of myself instead of right over myself but I'm just doing highlighting the areas around her body and her hair. And it's not too pronounced. It's not like doing white, but I'm also gonna color in the wings with this gold. Um, you know, her, her wings are gonna be almost transparent, but they're definitely gonna be with a shimmery gold to them. It doesn't take long to color those and it's easy. These pens are pretty see-through. I'm gonna go ahead and just add add in just a little bit of texture to the tree. Not a bunch, just a few lines here and there. Again, just adding texture. And that's just a Sharpie that I used right there. So now I'm gonna trim this to the card front size that I want, which is gonna be four by uh, five and a quarter. So I'm just kind of selectively trimming parts that I'm willing to let go of. <laughs> Not an easy task, honestly. But <clears throat> go ahead and just move everything out of my way now here. Um, what I've got now is I've got my Soft Pastels by Arteza. And a friend of mine sent me these out of the blue. I was so surprised to get them. And these things are so cool. So what I'm doing is I'm just pressing with the corner of that really pale yellow, little dots here and there. So fireflies, whatever you want, whatever you imagine they might be, just little points of light. And so then I rub them in with my finger a little bit. And I saw somebody do this with pan pastels, but I don't have any yet. And then I'm gonna just take my white gel pen and make a little dot just right in the center of those little yellow things and they just bring this beautiful little fairy light so to speak and then I'm just gonna go ahead and make oh gosh I don't know maybe it's fog maybe it's plants it's just cool looking little lines and it's with this green sparkly pen I love these pens I'm telling you um, just because of the colors and because they don't like my other jelly roll pens are pretty opaque and so they'll you know they just cover everything these ones are translucent so i'm going to go ahead and darken a little bit around the tree with a brown and i'm just gonna spread a little bit on and then i'm gonna take a little makeup brush and brush it in just to kind of create a little bit of depth under that tree with the um, pastel see it creates a little bit of a shadow there without making a mess and now what I want to do is I want to um, I want to kind of bring the middle more into focus so I'm taking these pastels and I'm gonna make a mess by the way and just uh, I took the, a, a dark green one and I spread it in here. And the beauty of this is you can use all, all these different colors and they blend really nicely. So right there, I'm gonna go in with a lighter green and do the same on the other side. The only thing is, is you might wanna treat this after you're done with maybe some hairspray or something. So chalk doesn't come off everywhere, but I've found that these stick pretty well so now I'm gonna go in with an orange and hit this side. And then just blend that in with my finger. Clean up my mess. And now I'm gonna go in with a pink. I'm gonna go in with a dark pink. And I kind of like this better than trying to do it with ink because I have a little bit more, more control. And I, you do have to wipe off pretty frequently. I'm gonna go in here with a purple just to kind of pull back in that purple. 
and then finally with the orange and blend the green and they blend really nicely so there I've got my outside edges and I decide to add a little bit of blue just feel like adding some blue <laughs> just add you know whatever you like and I, I like color my channel name is not afraid of color for a reason so I decided to go in and add some more light after I've done those and just I just love this technique I just think it is so cool it's the coolest thing ever And I, I've always known how to do this in Photoshop, but I, I couldn't grasp how you might be able to do this on paper, but it's really easy. And then I'm just going to add some more just tiny white light everywhere. And I go back in and do a second coat on the wings just because I want them to be just a little bit more sparkly. And that's with my glittery pen. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing some card bases and trying to decide how I want to um, mount this. I like it on the black but I am particularly fond of uh, another color, which is the natural craft color. Um, I do go ahead and go ahead and add a little bit of gold highlight around the tree, just to kind of make it stand out a little bit more. Just here and here, not, not the whole thing. Then I've got a purple pen and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just color in some of the circly parts of those flowers and again this is the glitter glitter pens and just go in with several colors and you know highlight little little bits and pieces I'm going to go in with the pink and hit the pink ink maybe some of the orange as well Just those little extra touches really adds a lot of interest. I'm going to hit it with some of the orange around the orange branches. Anyway, I consider them branches, but yeah, I decided to go ahead and use craft card stock for this one. And so I'm going to go ahead and use a tape method. Because this is watercolor paper, I really want it nice and strong, but I don't really want to use glue today. So I just go around to each corner with a double-sided double -sided tape, and then I just put one or two in the center. And I'm gonna just go ahead and just lift just parts of the corners here. And this is a technique by somebody named Natasha Foote. She's brilliant. If you have never seen her, she's she's really cool. She does a lot of really cool things. But this is perhaps one of the coolest. And yet my paper wanted to tear on me there. And I don't want it to tear in the middle of pulling it back. So I'm going to pull back these middle ones. And my double-sided tape's getting really old. <laughs> so it doesn't want to behave. But this really helps you with placement. Because, you know, if you were to take all the tape off, it's basically one and done. And if you got it crooked, oh well. <laughs> anyway, um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to Fairy Hugs, and I will show a still picture at the very end. Thank you very much. Hope you have an awesome day.